you. That will be two dollars. All right. Just hand over the lemonade, and no one gets hurt. No, stop! The city is a wonderful environment to be in. Everyone has their own issues, most of the minor variety, but hey, who else can help them than... Minor inconvenience man, that nuisance to the city. He must be stopped. I mean, he's just somebody that wants to help people. There's nothing wrong with that. No, he's tried to help people, but he just boily messes it all up. Wasn't he in jail not too long ago? Yeah, but him and some inmates escaped, and now he's back to his old ways. That's the problem. Nobody knows who he is. I know. He's a major inconvenience. No one knows who he is. Isn't it minor inconvenience, Grandma? That is not the point. The point is, he is hurting people. He must be stopped. Wherever he is. Stanley G. McRae. Let's get this out of the way, shall we? Uh, yes. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, it says here that you went to high school, but you never went, never attended college. Uh, yes, that's right. And your only other places of employment have been fast food restaurants and an online salesman? Uh, yeah, the, um, the fast food restaurants, those were from when I was in high school. Mm. Yes. Uh, but this says that you worked for a company that uh, scammed consumers online shopping? That, that was just the best I could get at that time. Well, did you get any sales? Uh, not as many as some others, but yes. Okay, well, it does say that you are efficient with public speaking, writing, and photography. 
Well, um, considering everything that I've seen here, I will think about your position and we'll email you back in the next couple of weeks. All right. Hey, uh, how was the interview? Uh, it, uh, could have gone better. What do you mean? Uh, the um, person that was interviewing me, uh, she seemed kind of a little bit judgmental, if you ask me, but I mean, I mean, hey, they said they'll at least consider me. Stan, you have got to get this job. You've been looking for one for over a year at this point. I know, it's just I don't have a stupid college degree. Well, I dropped out of college, but I still have a job. Well, the thing about places like these is that uh, the wages are, like, pretty great. So, you know, I want to get this job, and we're going to need it. Well, I'm going to need a job like that, so, you know, we can move out of our crap shack. Well, I guess what I should ask is if you should reconsider your options or something. I don't know. Although, uh, we'll say that, um... The best thing that ever happened to me while looking for a job keeps my spirits up high, even though. Well, I, um, I appreciate that, but I was also looking for a job, and I found one pretty early on. Yeah. You know what? I'll uh, I'll look into more jobs later tonight. I'll look online and stuff like that. See if there's anything higher paying. So, you know, uh, I won't end up like my car sleeping days like a few years back. Good. Hmm. So you're gonna meet up with the guys at at what time now? Um, uh, yeah, I should be, um, I think we decided about around four that we're going to do that. Oh, that's only a couple of hours. We should be fine. No! Did you drop this? Yeah, that's mine. Thanks. Now I'm out of practice for the finals. I see you busted your ball. Minor inconvenience, man. You got like an air pump or something you can throw a basketball with, right? Ha ha ha. I could simply do that, but instead, how about I? There you go.
Uh, thanks. I think he went this way. Wait. Who is this? Oh, that's Miles. I saw him walking his dog earlier this morning. Don't touch that. That's evidence. Minor inconvenience man do this? It's possible. But we can't conclude that now. The body doesn't seem to have any physical trauma on it. But that could be the cause. <laughs> You'll never catch me now, suckers! Hey! Yo! The minor inconvenience, man! Yep, that's me. What's the problem? That guy just stole a bunch of lemons! Can you get him back? Of course! Excuse me, sir! Stop! 
Those lemons belong to that there grocery store, and you need to get them back. Well, 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 it's the one and only Minor Inconvenience Man. Yes, it is me, Minor Inconvenience Man. Now give that grocery store its lemons back. Mm. How about no? Take it to them. I have an idea. So, who are you? My name is Dr. Lamone Dennis, though some call me Dr. Lemon Eye. And why is that? Well, it's simple, really. Because of this! <laughs> Officer Duckney, on the case, looking for bad guys. Here comes one now. You can't escape my law. No, Officer Duckney, don't get me. I'm too high up. You can't escape me. Hello? Hey, uh... It was a corpse found on Gallagher Street a couple hours ago. A corpse? Was it a murder? Do you have any suspects? I was pursuing Minor Inconvenience Man and me and some witnesses came across the body. So Minor Inconvenience Man murdered him. We didn't find any evidence on the body, but we knew he was there thanks to the witnesses. That seems too suspicious. He has powers that can make it so that his evidence could be covered up or something. Well, I did find one piece of evidence on the scene. And what would that be? Uh, a lemon. You found a lemon? Just there? Next to the body? In the man's mouth? What do you mean there was a lemon by the corpse? Robbie, just, just calm down. The lemon was sitting next to him and there was a bruise on the back of its head. So, what you're saying is that the lemon killed this man? Well, it likely wasn't a murder. We found cyanide eating away at his internal organs. That's... huh. Mm. Well, do any of you have a plan for this yet? We have a report being sent out to local news stations at this very moment. Good. Hey, what's up? Sam, did you hear the news? Uh, no. Minor inconvenience man. Did you not hear what he did? Uh, no. What, what happened? He murdered someone. He, he did what now? Yeah, he apparently killed a man. The, the news just reported it. I, I mean... Minor convenience man wouldn't have done this. He's never tried to hurt anyone. I don't know. I feel like I could have seen it coming a mile away. What do you mean? Well, he once gave Red Bull to a baby, got a man arrested for having gasoline and lighter in his car, freed an entire pit prison, and has just ultimately inconvenienced people in their everyday lives instead of like actually helping them fix their problems. Yeah, you have a point. I mean, everything he's done is borderline criminal. Honestly, it's about time he's wanted for prison. I wouldn't have expected him to murder anyone, at least suspect him of doing it. You know, it's just... It's just a lot to take in. 
Yeah, I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go to bed soon. to strike. <laughs> so you want to go to the ice cream place? Yeah, totally, but you pay them. Well, you're the one wanting to pay for it. I'll make you a bet. Heads you pay, tails I pay. Damn it. Why well, are you gonna pick it up? My man, you pick it up. Dude, it's your quarter. Wanna bet again? Stop. Still gonna watch your quarterback? Land on tail. Well, I guess so. Yeah. How about that dead brother of yours? He related to you? Man, well, yes, of course. What might your problem be, sir? My minor inconvenience is I want you out of my town. Why, of course. I need to have the solution for you. Hey, get back here.
What's up with that pixel part? That lemon. It's cyanide. Who are you? Don't play dumb with me, my inconvenience man. I saw you change into your normal clothes. You don't have any proof of that. Oh, all you wear is a black mask. You're not gonna fool me with that. Now tell me, my inconvenience man, what's your secret? How do you still live regardless if I use my lemons or not? Well, what's so special about lemons? <laughs> These aren't just any lemons. Great monologue. <laughs> These are lemons filled, poised for 300 milligrams of cyanide. Mere contact with one of these babies can kill a man with an eye. <laughs> I've been using them left and right to kill people, but somehow you've taken multiple of them and still are dead. Then they probably don't work. <laughs> How you feel? Not much different. What was the point of that? Uh, watch this. It's what the limit is supposed to do. But you had it in your damn mouth and you're fine! Well, are you gonna tell me or not? I, I'm sorry, but I, I'm not minor inconvenience man. <sighs> this again? Look, I saw you remove your dumb little costume to get to where you were. Well, what if I told you that? <laughs> Say hominis, absolute servitoris, humanitatis, kik sumosad, emundanishenem, animadam nos terreno, cum hoc octuinginta sexonos natamusa sucum ibibus, et nos cumini sumus, omnipotent sepenterne in genes, amen.
Ama. Stanley McRae, but uh, most people just call me Stan. Um, uh, what about you? Richard Osman. I'm a criminal investigator in town. Oh, really? Yeah, it can be a tough job, but it can be a fun one sometimes, too. Um, I'm currently unemployed, but I've applied to a few places, and uh, I mean, some of them have said they're going to you know, come back to me. I mean, it's understandable. I didn't become a detective overnight. It took a lot of time, training, and school. I mean, what's your profession? Well, I, um, I enjoy photography. Um, it's kind of actually the job I've been looking for. Hmm. A lot of young people are trying to go for it not these days. Seems like you got to stand out of the crowd to get somewhere. Yeah. So, um, what was all that about? The ritual? Yes. Ah, I see. Well, you are an outsider, so I, I guess I should explain what happened. You see, we're, we're a small group that believes and worships in a figure known as the Banana Man. He's an omnipotent being that watches over our deeds and dictates the moral laws which we should abide by and stay clear of anything bad. To speak with him, we have to use that 80-year-old banana juice mixed with fireball whiskey. Whatever you see in your vision of him shows whether something should be changed or not. And whether that change is depends on who you are. Hmm. So, um, what happened to the other members? Well, you were passed out for some time. Usually newcomers stay down longer than those of experience, so by the time you woke up, everyone went home. Well, what about the members themselves? And, like, like who are they? And actually, why was I invited? I'm sorry, but I can't reveal that to you. The other members, you know, they like to stay anonymous. Hell, I shouldn't even be showing you who I am. But I have it in good faith that you wouldn't tell anybody about my involvement. As for you, it was your tiredness and urgency to get somewhere that made me think to bring you here. It seems like you needed some kind of help. Um, well, I'm not sure about the vision, but, uh, I know that I feel, I guess, a bit better than I did before. Um, but, yeah, I should, uh, I should be leaving now. Well, hope you enjoyed the meal. And we'll await your return for our next meeting. Food was good. Um, I guess I'll consider another meeting later. Goodbye. Sorry, I'm late, boss. 
Sounds like it's pretty bad. Let me guess. I know you're one of your silly little meetings. Yeah. Well, isn't that just peachy? I had to operate this hunk of junk myself while you were away. Even then, I'm still trying to recover from my injuries. What? What injuries? Minor inconvenience man, Alexander! I found him on the street today. Oh, he smacked me right in the face. But laugh! That, that sounds awful, sir. Indeed, it was! I tried to chase after him, but I lost track. I just wanted some valuable information. What kind of information, sir? I needed to know his power! What makes him mind with you, man? That's what I needed! But after that, I'm gonna need something to know. I need something that he loves to get that information. What are you proposing, boss? His heart! Oh, we have to take his heart! Stan, where the hell have you been? C Chris, I, I, I'm sorry, I just, I, I was out with the guys and, uh, I, okay, listen, I, I was walking outside and it was really hot out, and, you know, and I, I blacked out and I passed out on the, on the ground, I'm sorry, that's, that's just what happened. I, I'm really sorry. I was worried about you. I didn't know what was happening, and, and you didn't answer any of my texts. Uh, yeah, my phone's been dead for a few hours. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. We'll just... Just try not to let it happen again, okay? I get... I get really worried when you're gone for that long. Listen, Chris. I'm sorry. I got caught up in the moment, and I lost track of time, and... I'll promise you I'll never do it again, and I, I mean that. I promise. You do? Of course. Well, I'm ready to go to bed. You should take a shower or something, okay? Definitely. One touch from these babies, and you're dead. Now, 
as I long just to do this sort of thing to you. I'm not. I need you. I hear that your minor inconvenience man's little girlfriend. Am I correct? Oh, so he never told you. Your little partner that you love oh so much is the infamous minor inconvenience man. Well, my dear, that's what I need you for. To lure minor inconvenience man into my little trap. I know he'll come looking for you. And once he does, it'll be my opportunity to finally get him. <laughs> uh, now, I'd love to stay in chit chat for a bit. But I have a human race to cover. So I'll leave you with my assistant, Professor Alex Stevens Hall. I'm sure y'all will have a really fun time. You'll have too much fun. So, you want to play a game? Minor inconvenience, man. We've got your partner in our grasp. Our only desire is the source of your power. If we obtain your power source, we will give her back to you. If you don't arrive by tomorrow, we'll place her head on a spike. Do as you wish, Dr. Lemon. You, stop! Sir, I'm not afraid to shoot. I need your help. Hey. 
So, this is minor inconvenience man. Back here again. Lanky body, cheap costume. I can't believe this is the person who's been killing so many people. That's him, all right. And you just caught him now? Uh... Not quite. I told him to bring me here. I came here so I could examine some evidence so I can prove myself innocent and find where the real culprit is. And who do you think that might be? Does the name Dr. Lamone Addison ring any bells? Actually, I do remember a Dr. Addison. I met him at the old Minute Maid factory that burned down a couple years ago. And what did he do there? I believe he used different flavors and chemicals to make the lemonade taste different, or something like that. How do you know all this? He was one of the few survivors of the fire. How did the fire occur? How did the explosion happen? We still don't know. The best theory we have is that a gas leak caused the explosion. Do any of you have any evidence of any of these murders that I've done? Yeah, there were lemons. We found them at the scene. We got them in bags in the evidence locker. I want one of your teams to study it. Dr. Addison showed me that it has an astronomical amount of cyanide inside of it that could kill someone on surface contact. It sounds ridiculous, but it's what's happening right now. That's pretty ridiculous, but we did find cyanide in the bodies of the crime scenes. You? Really? Yeah, but we never thought the lemons would have any connection to it. Then give them some kind of examination or something. I'm afraid, while this does line up with evidence, we can't just take this from an accusation. But he's out there doing this! You're already right here in cuffs. We can take you to a cell. I can break out any time I want. It's not difficult when you can summon anything from that situation at will. Plus, the only reason I'm here in the first place is because of my own choice. Same as last time. So, what are you going to do with the information you've got here? Huh? I'm going to find Dr. Addison and give him what for. And please, examine one of those lemons. Let him go. But he's getting away. Knowing him, this is personal. Chris. Chris. Minor inconvenience, man. Stan? Shh. shh. How did you figure it out? <laughs> that guy said I was the bride of minor inconvenience man or something, so that's how I figured out it was you. So what else did I, did I tell you or do in general? It was about, like, world domination. With, with cyanide lemons or something. Who did this? It, it, it was the assistant. Professor Hull or something. He, he forced me to answer these questions as some sort of game. It, it was torture. <laughs> Least favorite person in the world. Minor inconvenience, man. Your 
just on time. You've been on this long enough, Lemon Eye, is when somebody took a stop to this. <laughs> You're a fool, my dear kids. You don't know the power of messing with this. Bring it on. Oh, I will. Oh. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> What's wrong, minor inconvenience man? Is this scenario too inconvenient for you? Three, two, one, fight! <laughs> Take a seat! Ooh. Nap time! Let's, Let's get cooking! Heads up! I am in Like you're running out of time. We'll see about that. Finish him.
more. I don't need anything special to breathe in space.
You fool! You've treated me like utter garbage. You've used my works. <laughs> You've used my works for years. And how do you repay me? By treating my last name like garbage. My name is Alexander Stevens Hall. Get that right, Lemon Eyed. <coughs> You're right. You were always an asshole. <laughs> You. Do you have any idea what you've done to me? I don't even know who you are. Do you remember when you gave Red Bull to a baby? Um... Yeah, I think so. That was my child! My little precious Gideon. And you know who is to blame? My own wife! And it's all because of you! Minor inconvenience, man! <laughs> and now, you're gonna pay for everything you've done, Stan! How do you know that's my name? Ah! Oh, God! Chris told me so. your Dragon Ball is minor inconvenience, man. You're just a little weak shrimp, quivering like a baby. Now isn't that a minor inconvenience? So pathetic. Stan, get you by your side. Get up. Yes, ma'am. What was that? Uh, what was that? Uh, oh, you gonna sit here and act up? Oh, you worked on my nerve. This is why I have to stop trying to help crackheads recover. What are you doing, you bastard? You worthless piece of. Minor inconvenience man has made a minor inconvenience in his pants. What are you doing? Your form is all out of shape. Your little chicken legs shaking, look like two toothpicks. What's going on? I, I'm sorry, training's just been hard, and the, the co-worker, and all this sort of stuff. Shut up! Shut up. Hmm? Stop it, stop it. Somebody giving you a hard time, all you gotta do is talk about their mama and spit on them. Listen, I knew you had your reasons for hating me, Mr. Hole. 
but this isn't the right way to handle this. Go to a therapist, see a doctor. Those are things that can really help you. I know I've pretty much ruined your life, and Dr. Edison has used you for his own work, but this isn't healthy. You need to stop this and learn to move on. And I know I've made some past mistakes, and this is where it's brought me, but I won't let that stand in the way of- Wow, what a great speech. <laughs> but she's yours. So. You know what? Yo mama's so ugly, she gets Freddy Krueger nightmares! Stay away from her, Alex! No, you don't call me that. I'd rather not remember that. Call me Dr. X. Wait, you. Those days are over, Stan. I'm back to who I used to be. That hill in the head really brought me back to my senses. I don't wish to rule the world anymore. I don't desire to kill. But I guess I have to face my consequences now. That's... Oh. Uh. I guess I'll take your word on it. Then let's get him!
Where? Where are they? They're gone. For now. What? What happened to your costume? Don't worry about it. It's gonna be okay. All right? Yeah.
So, um, what are you fishing for? Anything. Anything? Anything I can get my hands on. How come? I lost everything. My job, my friends, my family. And I was the lead research and development of different types of lemonade flavors. And I know it sounds crazy, but I even wanted to take over the world by making lemons into cyanide and throwing them at people. But then me and my former colleagues secretly developed these new cyanide lemonades and we burned the whole factory down. I killed a lot of people. And finally I was stopped by my arch nemesis, major inconvenience man, or as he was formerly known, minor inconvenience man. He changed my ways and I turned on my colleague and we killed him. And I ran away. Since then, I've been stuck in a limbo of legal troubles. A crappy minimum wage job and to be completely honest, I don't know if I'll ever be happy anymore. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, right. Um, sorry to dump all that on you. No, no, you're fine. Believe it or not, I actually kind of understand. I was once in a tough spot a few years back. I didn't have a job. A lot of people hated me. Some wanted me dead. Hell, I was even framed for something I didn't even do. My girlfriend at the time didn't even like part of who I was, but she loved the other me. That makes any sense at all, of course. But through one of the toughest journeys I've ever been through, I finally regained trust in some people. It was like chains were lifted off my shoulders, but you know, of course, uh, the past was still the past, but I, you know, I could let it go. And I could be the person I could finally be. And, you know, sometimes in life, that's what you gotta do. You've got to climb the mountain and smile. Now I'm a professional working photographer. I don't have anyone I would consider an enemy or a threat. And I can say fully that I'm glad to be where I am now. So I say you should do whatever you need to do to climb that mountain. It's all about taking that first step. Wait, who are you? Name Stan, Dr. Addison. It was nice talking to you again. It was good talking to you too.